the popularity of our Bluetooth enabled BTH 1208 LS catching on, our customers are inquiring about measuring temperature using a thermocouple. Unfortunately, the BTH 1208 LS lacks some necessary signal conditioning to do so. However, with a little bit of ingenuity, you can use a semiconductor device, in this case the LM35, to monitor temperature. Today, I am going to show you how to measure temperature using the BTH 1208 LS and an LM35 semiconductor temperature sensing device. The LM35 has a linear 10 millivolt per degree C output with a temperature range of minus 55 to 150 degrees C. We will use this data later on to scale the voltage back to a temperature. The first thing that you will need to do is to solder some leads onto the LM35 so that you can attach it to the BTH 1208 LS. Next, you want to connect the voltage supply lead of the LM35 to the voltage output pin of the BTH 1208 LS. This will supply 5 volts to the LM35. Now take the output lead and connect it to the channel 0 high pin and the ground lead to the channel 0 low pin and to the analog ground pin. The BTH 1208 LS must be paired with a host device before wireless communication can be established. Press and hold the button on the BTH 1208 LS until the two LEDs blink alternately. The device is now in pairing mode. On your host device, select the Bluetooth device setup option and then select the BTH 1208 LS when it is displayed. The default pass key pin is 0000. Now just press and hold the button for about two seconds to remove it from pairing mode. Next, we need to open up Instacal and install the BTH 1208 LS. Once installed, you can close Instacal and then open up Tracer DAC. We will be using Tracer DAC Pro to read and scale the data. Let's set up our channel for measurement. We will start by reducing the number of channels to 1. Next, we will change the units to read Celsius. Now we can set up our scaling. We know that the LM35 has a sensitivity of 10 millivolts per degree C and a max output of 150 degrees C. After our calculations, we end up with a multiplier of 100 and an offset of 0. Now just input these values. Next, we want to add the BTH 1208LS to our setup and set the input range to the lowest scale of plus or minus 1 volt. Last, we will want to reduce the number of charts displayed to 1 and set up the strip charts Y axis. Set the label to C for centigrade. the upper limit to 50 and the lower limit to 0. I chose an upper limit of 50 to provide better resolution in the display of the temperature data. Now let's add the measurement table so that we can see numerical data as well as the strip chart and click the run arrow to start the application. As I vary the temperature, you can see the temperature change on the strip chart graph. Well, that's all there is to using an LM35 with our BTH 1208LS. In fact, this very same setup can be used with any measurement computing voltage based DAC device. Thank you for watching, and please visit us at www.mcc.com. DAQ.com for all your DAC needs.